Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is truly amazing. I actually have a little bit of an issue to start my day. This is a beautiful, super pastel sugar ball python that is just absolutely wonderful. But you can see right down here at the bottom that it actually has something sticking out right there. That is what they would call a prolapse. That's right. You can kind of get a better view of this right now. And basically, that just means that you know its insides have kind of come out. And there's a whole bunch of reasons for that. And I'll get more into that in a minute. But for now, I'm going to actually put this in sugar water. That's right. You may think like, why would you do sugar water? Uh, sugar can actually help a prolapse. Again, I'll explain more about that in a little bit. But for now, let's go ahead and get this guy soaking in some sugar water for the next 15 or 20 minutes. Then we'll come back and see if we can help this guy out. Pretty excited guys, you know we're doing the turtle pond at the new expansion of the Reptarium and uh, we had someone local here actually donate a few turtles for us. These will be the very first turtles to go in the pond. We're probably going to ultimately need about 20 turtles like this. This is actually either a red-eared slider or Eric thinks it may be a red-eared and a yellow-eared slider mix just because of the color of the shell because typically the red-eared sliders don't have that kind of shell pattern like this. They're much darker and stuff like that. And then what we have here is a couple little yellow map turtles here. Again, there's this guy and then there is this guy right here. They're not quite full grown yet, but uh, they're they're getting pretty good. And the people that had these had them for about four years since they were little babies. So it's pretty cool that we got the first turtles. It's been since I was a kid, since I had little turtles. So I'm excited to finally have some aquatic turtles back in my life. That's going to be so cool. And once they're in that pond, oh my God, it's going to be awesome. People can come and we'll actually have the opportunity for people to feed the turtles in the pond. It's going to be one of the cooler features being able to kind of join the old Reptarium with the new Reptarium. Lori, good news. Yes. So originally I thought you were only going to have one day to paint, but the good news is is that he's going to be done a day earlier so we can get that painted. Uh, you got Monday and Tuesday to paint. So you got two days to paint so we'll be able to do that. Okay, great. So by we you mean me. Well, no, we, because I'm going to be supporting you. I'm going to be in Texas. Yeah, but we're, exactly. I'm going to be emotionally supporting your <laughs> oh, decision okay. to paint. Yeah. So, so okay, so Thanks. we got two days to get it Thanks, painted. Man. I could not do it without all I, your support. I know. Well, that's good. But it's good that you have an extra day. So. Oh, yeah. Good. It's okay. awesome. Thank you. <laughs> so we had this guy soaking for about 15 minutes or so, and you can see it's starting to actually shed a little bit on top of it. So the sugar itself actually absorbs moisture, and that prolapse, when it tissue kind of shrinks a little bit, oftentimes goes in. Unfortunately, with this case, it didn't go in. And when you get to this point, now first off, if this ever happens to your snake, I'm kind of going through the process with you guys, but I would take it to a vet. Honestly, uh, the only reason, again, I keep saying this, the reason why I do a lot of this stuff is that I've been to a vet so many times seeing them treat this that now I actually can do it myself typically and also have that opportunity to call my vet anytime if I get into a position where it's just not working. So what I want to do now that I've soaked for 15 20 minutes in that sugar and it hasn't worked so I'm going to just try my hardest to work that prolapse back in now again a prolapse like this oftentimes will come out because uh, you know sometimes maybe sometimes if you fed too big of a meal you can actually rip the colon away from the wall of the body that holds it in so what we want to do is just get this back in with this particular animal this is the second time it's prolapsed so I don't think it that it's a meal issue it's probably just a genetic weakness now again I'm going to just slowly just massage this in slowly not trying to do too much. I'm getting a little bit here, but it's not going as well as I'd like. I can even use a stainless steel probe here and again, just try to gently work it in. I want to just get it inside that vent right there the best I possibly can. Just keep on just really gently working it in the best that is possible. And once it's in there, oftentimes it'll actually heal over the course of a bit. If this ever happens to you and you can get it in just like I was able to get it in right there, you don't want to feed this animal for at least probably a week or two to be honest with you. And then when you feed, you want really small meals because again, as it's trying to push the meal out and go to the bathroom, that's when that rip is going to happen again. Right now that it's prolapse is in there and I'm just going to massage it just a little bit to get it in like this it has the opportunity to heal on its own right now and then the worst case scenario when you get to the point where it does it again maybe multiple times that's when you do want to actually go to a vet and what they'll do is they'll actually stitch the anal vent right to the body for a course of time so there's no way it can push it out allowing the body itself to heal and actually adhere that bowel and that colon back to the body cavity so that's basically it guys we definitely got it back in doesn't seem to be a real swelling issue doesn't 
doesn't seem to be any infection. And the one thing that's really important if you do have a prolapse like that is to keep it really moist, right? Because if that skin starts to dry out, you can actually get necrosis and it'll start to rot away. That's a big, big problem. Again, we've got the prolapse in. Probably certainly could have saved his life by getting the prolapse back in. Now we just have to see, will it stay in or will it go out again? If it does, we'll probably have to get my vet to stitch it up so that it can heal a little bit longer. Fortunately, the animal has good body weight, looks completely healthy, moving around completely fine. So I think we're going to be okay with this one, but I wanted to kind of share with you guys this experience if you or anyone else has the problem. But again, I can't stress enough, having a vet do this is definitely the better option for sure. So regardless, uh, I think this guy's looking pretty good. I'll keep a really close eye on it the next couple days. And again, probably won't even feed it for another week and a half or two weeks. And then I'm going to do something really small and hopefully it can actually heal up. Take a look at how big Moo Moo, the cow reticulated python is getting. Remember, this is the one that came in and just like lit me up with super aggressive. She has tamed out so much. And unlike Perdita, that's that pure white with speckles. This girl had the yellow from the beginning. I guess Kevin told me from Nerd that produced this one that has a lot of really cool genetics. Honestly, for me, it was just about look. And I wanted something that looked a little different than Perdita because obviously, you know, we already have Perdita. We don't need another one of her. So it's kind of cool to have a yellow one now. And look at how big she's getting. Before long, I think she's going to catch up to Perdita. And again, as soon as we're done with the expansion, she's going to be over there because she's going to be another hit snake that everyone wants to hold. Guys, what's up? Did you see this? <laughs> yeah. Dude, Robo alive! <laughs> Are you Actually, kidding me? Here, get this, your mom bought My these. We're gonna start selling these out. at the Reptarium. No How way. much do you want for them? I know, do you wanna play with one? I'll buy the whole set right the whole now. Set. Yeah, there's what? like lizards, there's a uh, couple different types of snakes. The best part Dude. is you don't even have to worry about it dying, Eric. This That's is perfect right. for you. This is perfect for you me. You don't have to worry escape. about it falling into your fish tank. And I know. Eaten. Oh my wow. gosh. Well, what's the fun in that, really? Let's, let's, let's There's T Rexes? No, There's, that's not the most important part. The eye moves and the tongue flicks. No, I don't think you're getting this, bud. All Does right. it actually strike? It's animatronic. Let's oh do it. My let's try it. We can open it? Yeah, let's open it. Let's play with it. Ah! Looking at a few of the razors that we actually hang on to here, and oh my gosh, this is actually a super extreme pinstripe banana. I love the white that just comes up the sides. A bunch of really cool animals in this rack for sure. Definitely raising up some more camo females for my Barney project because I definitely need more of those to potentially produce those animals. And even if they don't come out all purple, uh, camos are incredible on their own right. And speaking about insane in its own right, take a look at this monkey here. This is actually a banana enchi cine pinstripe. Absolutely wonderful. This is a boy that definitely will be in the breeding scheme next year. I figured if I updated you guys on Moo Moo a little bit earlier that I would show you guys one of Lucy's babies. That's right. This is my Citron Tiger Girl that I hung on to from Lucy. You can definitely see really placid reticulated python. Unbelievably incredible. Adding that Citron gene to the tiger makes it unbelievably beautiful. So she's getting some size to her too. And another animal that I'm sure that will be over at the Reptarium or uh, like Lori calls it, the Reticarium. So the mudding process has begun here at the Reptarium expansion. You can start to see the seams all come together. Again, this is when it starts to look more like a finished building, right? Because it doesn't look like seams as much. Still have a ways to go and stuff like that. But then of course, right after that, Lori has to paint. And as soon as she's done painting, then the drop ceiling goes in, then the floor gets done. Oh my God, it's place is gonna look a lot different in just a week or so from now. But uh, it's pretty cool to see the progress. I mean, this is the type of stuff that, I've been in enough building projects to know like the steps in the process Processes and when things really start to look different. Obviously, when you start to get drywall up, they start looking like rooms instead of just walls with little studs in them. And then, of course, once you get the drywall mud on them, they start looking like a solid wall. You get paint, it actually starts looking like a building. Drop ceiling's gonna make a huge difference. Then the floor is gonna put that finishing touch on it. So, super excited. Things are coming along well. Oh my gosh. Oh, and by the way, we are leaving tomorrow for Texas.
Nothing today, Eric. Bro. Nothing, man. Just <laughs> it sounds really stupid. I'm on the camera. I'm obviously on the camera right now. Okay. Literally, right now. I'm just nervous for tonight. I don't know what it is. What's tonight I, you know, though? Tonight's a big podcast. With who? 5 p.m. Bar check. No, we got a special guest, Brian Bar check on. Okay, <laughs> we can say that, right? He's he's our guest, I guess. <laughs> but uh, no, me and Noah do this podcast. I've been super excited to do this, but for some reason I hype myself up, and then as soon as I'm there, I'll be fine. But it's just up until that point. I don't know. I think it'll I've be fine. I've never actually seen you nervous like this, dude. Before. I know. You came up I to know. me what ten times now, and you're like, like Jay, like, uh, listen. Uh, I'm so like, is everything gonna be fine? fine? I think it's because it's live and it's just knowing that people are watching live. I'm really weird. I'm a strange person. No, no, that's not weird. When it's that's on the camera, like, fears. oh yeah, no, like a big stage or something. I could never, ever, ever do that. I'd probably throw up and die. Guess what, Noah? More shoes. I can tell by the shape shoes. of the box. Exactly. You love shoes. Yeah, I just wanted this. I need a pair to kind of wear around. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, not like you have. 50 other pairs. No, no, wear. I always want to get the right, the right pair. You know what I mean? What the heck is this? These boxes are different, huh? I don't That's know. Weird. What is it? That is a cool box, though. Look, you push yeah. those in and then you pull them. Whoa. Look at that. Look at that Ooh. new design. Oh, you got some new Ultra Boos. Some Boos? Jesus, what is that? Neighborhood. The Shark yeah. 2 16s. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty cool, huh? That's crazy. I know, what right? The heck? These are uh, Neighborhood Ultra Boos. I, 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 I mess with them. These are 3M, aren't they? Here, get yeah. a flashlight. Shiny? The reflectives? I think so. Oh, interesting. So, wow. What do you think? You think your mom like them? No way. She's going to hate them. Yeah. But so, you know what? That's fine, though. You know, everyday rock right there. Let me know there. what you guys think in the comments on these uh, these new shoes. These Shark Tooth 16s. I mentioned earlier that we are leaving for Texas tomorrow. And that's right. We're going to be driving down there, going to Universal Rocks to finish up. The big tasks of the day are going to be this huge anaconda cage. We're going to build this anaconda cage. It's going to be absolutely ridiculous. Again, a huge pond, like 450 gallons of water with a waterfall. Then there's going to be land for the anaconda. Floor to ceiling. It's going to be really amazing. That is probably the biggest job we have there. We also have to do salt and peppers enclosure and then the arboreal closure and then just button up a bunch of things. So we have our work cut out for us down there. But if everything goes well, by the time we leave at the end of the week, we should be wrapped up and getting ready to ship stuff up. Again, it was supposed to be February 3rd. I'm sorry, it's February 10th now, but that is a drop dead date. We are not changing it. So if you guys are interested in coming in, again, sending emails to everybody on that one. So again, heading to Texas tomorrow uh, to build this Anaconda cage, salt and pepper, a boreal cage. Oh my God. Cannot wait, guys. It's going to be amazing. My question to you, Eric, and yeah. I'll feed you back as well, is what is your favorite conspiracy? Ooh, that's a tough one. That you actually believe in. And we can Ooh. touch on just favorite conspiracies that we don't necessarily believe in. Okay. But I would just like to hear what your thoughts are, because I don't think I've ever asked you that before. You've never asked me that? Number one. Cousin Brad goes, what the hell is that? And I look up real quick. Mm -hmm. Dude. It looked like a huge, huge structure. The way there was like four lights in a row. In the sky? In the sky, just moving like simultaneously perfectly. So I don't think it was okay. four different airplanes, four fighter jets, because we okay. do have an Air Force base that's pretty close to us here. Interesting. Uh -oh. Definitely something to the point where like, I almost dropped my drink. I was so scared. Uh, you know what I mean? Like yeah, I almost cried when I told I Mary, like I'm like, get in the basement and load the shotguns up. They're coming, they're, they're here. They're they are coming. here. If you enjoyed this video, can you do me a favor? Right over here, you can actually subscribe to our podcast checking in and of course Noah and Eric and all that other stuff if you want to just watch more videos here's a playlist you can roll through all kinds of stuff over on this side you can actually hit the subscribe button to this vlog channel turn the post notifications on to everything have a wonderful day be kind to someone and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow